do it in extended sittings this morning, but he didn't want to. <laughs> I call on... That concludes questions for oral answer. I call on Government Order of the Day, number one. Government Notice of Motion, number one, relating to the appointment of the Chairperson of the Electoral Commission. The Honourable Louise Upston. Mr Speaker, I move that pursuant to section 4D of the Electoral Act 1993 and section 32 of the Crown Entities Act 2004, this House recommend Her Excellency the Governor-General appoint the Honourable Sir John Hugh Williams QC as a chairperson of the Electoral Commission for a term of 18 months, commencing on the date of the warrant. The Electoral Commission is responsible for the administration of parliamentary order, elections and order, referenda. Order. I'm having extreme difficulty. Order. This is an important motion, and at this stage, I'm having extreme difficulty hearing what the minister is saying. For those members that wish to leave the house, would they do so without interrupting the proceedings? I apologise to the minister. Mr. Speaker, the electoral commission is responsible for the administration of parliamentary elections and referenda, the allocation of time and money for the broadcast of election programmes conduct of the Māori electoral option, servicing the work of the Representation Commission, the provision of advice, reports and public education on electoral matters, and the electoral enrolment services for both parliamentary and local body elections. The Electoral Commission has a board of three members comprising a part-time chairperson, a part-time deputy chairperson, a full-time chief electoral officer, who is the chief executive. Appointments to the Electoral Commission are made by the Governor-General on the recommendation on the, of the House of Representatives. The position of Chairperson of the Electoral Commission is under review as the term of the incumbent, Sir Hugh Williams, expired on 12 March 2017. The Electoral Act 1993 is administered under the Justice Portfolio and the Minister of Justice, the Honourable Amy Adams, is responsible for the process of appointments to the Commission. She has delegated this appointment to the Honourable Mark Mitchell as the Associate Minister of Justice. The position of Chairperson of the Commission is a leadership and governance role. It requires a person with good strategic planning skills, expertise in financial management and risk management, and unquestionable personal integrity and independence. The functions of the Chairperson are not defined in statute, but in practice. The Chairperson's responsibilities include chairing meetings of the Commission and determining the agenda, ensuring that the Commission's governance practices are in line with good practice and are well documented, ensuring that the Commission works harmoniously and effectively in carrying out its functions, consulting with Ministers, acting as the spokesperson for the Commission where appropriate, undertaking public speaking engagements where appropriate, developing and maintaining good collegial relationships between Commissioners and generally ensuring that the Commission meets its statutory responsibilities and lawful government expectations under the Statement of Intent, Memorandum of Understanding and other expectations placed on independent Crown entities. Mr Speaker, Sir Hugh was appointed President of the former Electoral Commission in 2009. At that time, the governing legislation required the position to be appointed from a list of three persons nominated for the purpose by the Chief Justice. Even though there is now no statutory requirement for the chairperson to be a judge or former judge, the constitutionally significant nature of the Electoral Commission's role means that having a chair that can provide strong and independent legal leadership is highly desirable. The practice has been to appoint a retired senior member of the judiciary. Following the recent appointments of a new deputy chair and chief electoral officer, it is highly desirable to retain a level of institutional knowledge leading into the general election. I am confident that Sir Hugh Williams can continue to provide the Commission with sound leadership. His expertise and experience will be invaluable. Sir Hugh was appointed as a Judge of the High Court in 1995 and retired from the bench in 2009. He previously served as a Master of the High Court for six years and was for as many years the Chancellor of Massey University. He has a long-standing involvement in the administration of justice and significant governance experience as a highly engaged University Chancellor. Sir Hugh was appointed President of the Electoral Commission in 2009 and then as Chair of the, President of the present Commission in 2011. He was appointed for a second three-year term in March 2014 
and has continued to perform ably in this role. The Crown Entities Act 2004 provides that appointments to the independent Crown Entities may be for a period of up to five years. It is proposed that Sir Hugh's reappointment be for a term of 18 months. This will ensure that Sir Hugh can oversee the reporting processes that will follow the 2017 general election and that the, person, the, the chairperson position is reviewed with 18 months lead in time to the 2020 general election. The proposed appointment of Sir Hugh was consulted with all cross-party leaders following the approval of his appointment from the Appointment and Honours Committee on the 16th of February. With great pleasure, Mr Speaker, I commend to the House the reappointment of Sir Hugh Williams for this important role. He is an extremely capable man and his service in the role to date as shown. I am confident that his expertise and experience will serve the Electoral Commission and the country well. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Chris. Mr Speaker, thank you very much, Mr Speaker, and I'm happy to speak in favour of the motion before the House uh, making appointments to the Electoral Commission. I do want to acknowledge the important role the Electoral Commission has in ensuring that New Zealand has free...